the last day and a half, there have been 21 reported avalanches, killing one person over the weekend. And we had a really bad uh, avalanche year for deaths last year, and, and we're really hoping that um, we don't see something similar for this year. Mike Cooperstein with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center says the state averages about six fatalities every year. We sadly hit that number this weekend when a backcountry skier died in a slide triggered by snowmobiles outside of Steamboat Springs. But we have already had two fatalities so far this month. Um, so we're still concerned, uh, especially for the, the rest of the month of March. The cause behind the tragedies, avalanche experts say, was a long, dry spell in February with hardly any snow at all, meaning the snowpack became weak. Now that we're starting to add more snow on top of that really weak snow, we're starting to see these avalanche problems. So both of the fatalities that have occurred, a lot of the avalanche activity that's been occurring in the last week has been occurring on this weak layer that formed dur during February. Because the weak area is just about two to three feet underneath the surface, it's not taking much at all to activate that weak layer and then trigger a slide. Experts warn those entering the backcountry need to know the risk and play it safe. We still have a couple of months left of winter and we're just really urging people to, to be careful here for the short term until this layer goes away. In Denver, Angela McCall, Nine News. The Colorado Avalanche Information Center says this year there's been an unusual number of snowshoer deaths when usually the state doesn't report any at all. It says it's because the people entered avalanche areas, but they didn't realize it.